Welcome to Trading Lounge and the ASX 200 as a CFD. Yesterday we were talking about two counts. Um, now we can narrow that down to one count because we've made a new low below here. In fact, we were looking that if the market uh, broke down past the 61.8% mark, then we could also call that in and any short trades could be taken under this little ledge here. And this little leg here is not finished. We'll look at that in a moment. Um, but I just want to have a look at the explain this chart and then have a look at the bigger picture and then we'll go back into the uh, into the intraday. Now this situation here now it gives us uh, five waves down as one and two and then uh, all the way down for three here uh, as five waves which would expect the third wave being the strongest and longest and all that and then wave four and then wave five down here I've taken that down to the 5600 here and then we'll look for an A and a B and a C coming back up into the 5.8 here uh, as the 50-60% retracement level taken from the 56 here, from the high here. The good news is, is that because we've got five waves here, after a correction here, we can be assured of this five waves here. So it gives us a nice setup to, uh, to trade long. What I don't know is that, is this wave one down here or is it wave A? I'm going to have a look at the bigger picture now um, in terms of uh, think I think I might just go to the weekly first so with the weekly here we looked at this particular uh, structure here like this here in terms of uh, let me just bring that into focus here a wave three up here and then an a wave down to here uh, a B wave up to here and then five waves down for the C wave here to make wave four. That's always been the case here. I've always held that count and um, the problem with that count is that this move up here has passed the 61.8% mark. It hasn't gone above this high here because if it went above that high here then I would have to rule it out. I'd have to rule this out as the A wave here, the B wave here and the C wave here and what I would have to do then is bring this wave 4 across over here and then we would be looking at wave 5 going up so I could just grab that, copy that there and put this here as, let me just sort that out, as wave 5 here and then in that case what we'd be looking for would be from wave 4 to wave 5 here we'd be looking for 5 waves up so one in blue here 1 and 2 and 3 here and 4 here and 5 here and this is probably the case actually um, but it does leave us with this situation here because we only have three waves up from here so I'm just going to move this a little bit through here and I'm just going to uh, remove this here as well and just point out a, another count that's quite possible uh, here as well so I'll just continue to move that continue to move that there uh, continue to move that here so um, this is another count that we can look at seriously uh, so just get my thing in here so because we know we've got this little move down through here because we know we've got five waves moving down here uh, we've got three waves moving up, an A and a B and a C, and I've never been happy with this particular structure up here because of the overlapping wave structures, okay? Um, but it still could count as one and two and three. We're pulling back for four here and then up for five. But at that 5,600 here, where I expect the first leg to come down in five waves, it's already pulled at 5,600 here. It's already pulled down as a wave four at a 38.2% retracement level. So it's already there. So we know that after a correction back up and then another five down, it's really going to breach that. So um, I'm... You know, I'm very skeptical that the move down can be a fourth wave. So one and two and three and four and down here and then five back up. I think that's, um, I, I just don't think it's the case. It would be a better fit. Um, I'm still happy with this bear market here, but we've got to bring in this count now, which would be uh, this structure here as uh, wave four here. So we've got wave three up here. We can remove this this uh, ABC over here, put this wave four here and look for uh, wave five to come up into here. So basically we would look at this as an A wave here because this can count as five waves here. Uh, it could also be counted as three waves. It's just a bit messy, that's all. 
Um, so it's quite possible that we actually get one and two here, and then a sharp drop into here, um, and then four and five here, and then up from here. And this would also suit the banks as well because we've got that bank. The, so we've got the banks um, looking pretty much at the same uh, possible. Uh, count as well um, and you know that I use CBA so I'm just going to drag CBA across here so with CBA here there was a couple of counts that we could have used here but basically um, from here we can look at this as the A wave down to here a B wave back up into this high here and then five waves down here one and two and three and four and five Be <coughs> because the move down through here can also be counted as five waves now as well. So basically wave one when it finishes, back for wave two, three, four, and five. It's getting, the thing about this is that the move, the move down here, this is the 61.8% mark taken from this low to this high here. And I know that um, the best fit, the best count that I've had for this is this being the low here as an A wave here, a B wave here and five waves up for the C wave here in terms of one and two and three and four and five. So I've always been quite happy with that. But another little bit of evidence, um, it's not in the sort of Elliott book, but I know that if we get five waves to the 61.8% mark here, if we had three waves to here, then we'll be pushing up here, do you know? And we'll look at that, this as an ABC, but um, it does fit better as a five wave structure. So it, it's, um, it's likely to, move down here, move back up, and then have wave three coming down. <clears throat> so I think what we'll be doing with the banks and uh, this market here as such, um, if I just put this on the daily chart now, just look at this here. I've still got this as, um, and obviously this, this wave three uh, now turns to wave B up here. Um, because if we get five, this is this is where we're expecting it to pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree in here. So if, it, if the time that this finishes down here is five waves, it's going to be very close to that 5,600 um, and appears to be uh, five waves. So it also, um, you know, as a wave four coming down here, it's really overlapping wave one here as well. So this, you know, they're starting to build up a lot of evidence uh, if that's breached here. So let's just put a line on there. I mean, there can be some sort of overlap, but, you know, it's sinking into, it's going to sink into it. That's, you know, it's quite, 56 is a little bit lower here. So, um, yeah, look, it's possible that this could be the A, the B and the C for wave four, but it will overlap that uh, and so on and so on. And it, this move down through here would have to be very short and stubby. Um, and if it's a wave three, like we're thinking it is, is wave one here, wave two here, and wave three, it's going to be quite fast here. So we need to be, once this correction comes in here, we can, we can now trade it short. Um, and we may get the C wave, but it's more possible that we're going to get, going to get a sharper uh, play to come in and that will obviously come from the banks because that will be the one that's leading us uh, to the downside. So anyway, I just thought that I would um, go over that a little bit and we'll go over it more. Um, but it's, it's nice that we know sort of where we are now. So um, on the two hour chart here, um, this wave A here can also be wave one. I've put wave two here just to remind us. But we're looking for this to complete down here uh, as five waves here. So uh, we'll look to trade this wave A up and B up and C up here. We won't probably get involved with the B wave here, but the A wave and the C wave we can trade long. And then when we get the evidence in here, we can also look to trade this short here. So what we're left with now is from wave four here, we need to look at... Um, we need to look at basically five waves down here for this for this leg here to finish. That's where we are here at the moment, okay? So uh, with this, I'll just go to the 15 minute chart here. So let's just, from that wave four up here, I was thinking of it like this here. Okay, so basically wave one to here, wave two to here, 
and then we're looking at five waves down here for wave three here, then back for wave four and down for wave five at 5,600, and then we can trade long at that point, okay? There is, <clears throat> there is another way to count this, and we need to look at it. Uh, it's probably not right, but I've just pointed out, and then we'll, then we'll look at a strategy to overcome that situation, because we need to look at everything. So wave one, wave two, wave three here, and wave four uh, in here where that wave two is, okay, it's an A and B and C in here, um, because this is one and two and three and four and, four and one, two, three, four, five here. So this wave five could be here. So it's possible that we have five waves here. The thing I don't like about this is that the, wave, the fifth wave has got the extension in it, where wave three should have the extension in it. Now, the interesting point here is that this little, if I've got the count correct with this one here, and this one here, and this one here, then the 38.2% retracement level from here down to, down to this low here, that's the 38.2% retracement level here, and we would also have the wave four of one less degree, which is this little guy up here. So realistically, we need to look at both of those. So that's really where this wave four can come into play here and um, uh, we need to sort of accommodate that a little bit. So I was thinking that we would see a rally um, uh, sort of first off here uh, and then coming down for wave five. So what we could say, if, if I was wrong here, then if this market found support above the 38.2% retracement level on the closest largest number, the 57 here, then we could look to go long there, couldn't we? We could also um, do it in a couple of ways. We could... Um, if, if you felt that there was really good tested support on 57, you could get a small order here, just like a third or a quarter of the size of you normally do, and then start to build in on top of group one here. Okay, so just keep it small if that's going to be the case. Otherwise, we need to look at this uh, moving down here further uh, into the 5600 here. Um, just take this with a pinch of salt here, but um, this, this, um, if the extension is in wave three here, then this wave one here can be the same length as the wave um, here, as wave five here. So it's quite possible not to have this all this way down here. Um, I've just put it at the number two here because I know we'll get a bounce off the three here. Anyway, the top of group one here. Um, and then this wave four will pull back to this wave four of one lesser degree or 38.2% retracement level from this high all the way down to here to back up here. <clears throat> so um, yeah, so th the next step here, I guess, is that um, if you were shorting here, then you could, you you would really want, if you're going to short here, you, you would want, um, you would want the 72 here, the 5672 as a retested resistance here, unless you're going to short it further up through here. So if this didn't make it all the way up here, for instance, then you could look to, to short it, you know, un, under this level here or, you know, in, in amongst here anyway. Um, the tick chart's not going to give us uh, any, any more than we don't know already, perhaps. Um, yeah, this is just the tick chart here. So it's the same, basically the same count. So I was just looking for, I know we've got looking at, yeah. I mean, I think I've got the right count here, um, but this is a bit of a sideways pattern here. So this is wave two here. So yeah, it's sort of sharp. And this has got sidewards here. So that's why I pointed out that it's possible that this could be a wave four uh, in here, but uh, I, I, I just don't, this doesn't quite sort of add up in a way, but it's possible. And that's why support on the 57 would uh, see the market higher at that point there. But otherwise, uh, look to short with the 5672 as your tested resistance. And you could short it down to um, looking at the length of this here. I'd still go down to group, I, I would take it down to this number here, 5630 here, the top of group one here. Um, before seeing this wave four bounce. Don't give the money back in this particular wave four. Wave fours can be quite, you know, well, they can, they can be, um, you know, get overlapping wave structures, which will take out your stop. So just be very careful about that. 
All right, well, um, that's about it, really. Okay, cheers.